Are you ready to have some fun? If you are, then stick around. We're gonna do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna use some products that I haven't used in a while, some products from my stash. I'm also gonna include using the new, this is the new BK Beauty lipsticks. They came out with six new shades. I know I'm a little late to the party. Sorry, it came by snail mail. <laughs> So that's how long stuff takes to get from the U.S. to Canada. So we're going to try out a whole bunch of lipsticks. We're going to do some swatching, some arm swatching. It's a full try on. So if you're curious to see what products I use, let's get into it. So I had a totally different video idea I was going to do today. And then when I... Uh, happened to go to the mailbox and I could see the new uh, BK Beauty lipsticks arrived in the mail. I was super excited to see that. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to just change what I'm doing today. I, so I don't know how this is going to work out. I was, you know, sometimes when I'm, I'm planning for my video and I have, you know, my, my head's kind of in the game of, okay, I'm going to do this video and I have, you know, like a little script and everything going. So now I'm just winging it. <laughs> so... So I'm just going to do a different eye look than I was going to do today. But I really like how this tape makes the eyeshadow have almost like a little bit of a cut to it. Like it's a very precise line. So we're going to go in with the BK Beauty. This is my very well used True Beauty uh, eyeshadow palette. This is one of the uh, like original kind of makeup products that she started with when she started the makeup line. It's a very versatile eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty 202 brush. I'm going in with that shade right there. It's called Beam. And I'm going to use that as my transition shade. And I did uh, just do my eyebrows off camera. And I did put a little bit of color corrector under my eyes for the concealer. Or before the concealer gets put on. The next shade we're going to go in with is this one right here. It's called Ambition. It's kind of what the shade looks like there. It's, it's very, very pretty. It has like some pink undertones to it. And I'm going to very lightly put that right above the crease. But I just thought how fun to play with some makeup today and use some products that I haven't, I actually haven't used a bunch of this stuff in a long, long time. So it's always fun for me to go through my stash and see what I can find. And I think I have a nice mix of some drugstore products, some uh, products from Sephora. So a nice little mix. So I'm going to use the BK Beauty 211 brush. And I'm going to go in with this shade right on the corner here. It's called Beauty. And even my nail polish, I <laughs> I just basically slapped it on before I came on camera here. So if it looks, if you can see it, sometimes it looks a little bit messy. That's why I just went pew, 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 pew with all, and quickly tried to do it. Uh, because I actually had another shade in mind that I was going to uh, put on. I've been kind of scrambling around to get this organized. But it's all fun. And then we're going to go in with this shade right here. It's called Brooklyn. And I'm just going to use my finger actually to put this one on. I'm just going to apply it right in the inner part of my eye and about halfway over the lid. All right, so off camera, I just finished the eyeshadow and then I did my, my little wingy dingy. Now I also want to put a little bit of lip oil on my lips just because I'm going to be doing like a bunch of the swatching with the lipsticks. Recently was able to pick up, this was one of those products that went viral on TikTok and you can't find it anywhere, but I see that it's slowly starting to come back into the stores. It's the NYX, the fat, uh, no, no, sorry, fat. Let me start over again. This is the NYX fat oil lip drip or drip lip drip fat oil well, i don't know how it's if it's one of the <laughs> but it's this product right here and it's it is really really good i have been uh, using it a lot but it has one of those big huge uh, applicators it fits on the lip really like, really nice but very nourishing uh, very hydrating on the lips so we're gonna have that kind of doing its job while we're putting on the rest of the makeup so I want to go in with a little bit of primer and we're going to use the e.l.f. the Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I have this one in the shade uh, Fair Light and I just have all, like all my other regular uh, skincare products on. It gives a really beautiful glow to the skin. If you're not familiar with the e.l.f. the Halo Glow, it does, as you saw, it has a quite a unique uh, like a doe foot applicator. That's the shade right there. So really, really pretty. And then when you blend it in, just a gorgeous, gorgeous glow. Look at that. 
looks almost like glass. It's very, very pretty. The foundation we're going to go in with today is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation. This has SPF 25 in it. Not that I rely on my foundation or anything like that to give me that extra SPF in there. You would have to apply so much to your skin. So I, I personally never rely on when it says it has SPF in it. So it does have like a little pump applicator. This is a really lovely foundation. It tends to lean more on like a, like a fuller coverage foundation. I just take like that much. It's not like an overly runny type of foundation. And I'm gonna use my BK Beauty. This is the 101 foundation brush, my favorite, favorite foundation brush. And I, I don't actually need to apply a lot of this uh, with that e.l.f. nice uh, like halo glow filter on there. Like my skin looks really, really nice and healthy right now with that product. So I am just going to go in and apply where I just need a little bit more coverage. Uh, this one does give you like a, like a bit of a satiny finish. I forgot to say I have this in the shade CN10, which is... The shade alabaster and where I usually want more coverage is just kind of on my cheek area and where my pores are and just around like where my nose is and always make sure to take it down your neck so everything blends together but I find this it even though it has like a nice satiny look to it with the assistance of the elf product it does give me uh, like a little bit of boost of, of a healthy glow appearance uh, very uh, feels very lightweight on the face. It is buildable. So if you do want to add more coverage, then certainly you can do that. It does have hyaluronic acid in it. For concealer today, we're going to use the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. This I have in the shade Beige. This one is a little bit of a different uh, concealer. If you've watched my channel before, I have used it several times. The only issue that I have with the concealer is I'm not a big fan of the pump. I prefer to have it on a, on a wand. So it is a, just a little bit different. So all I usually do with this is put it onto my ring finger. That is the most gentle finger to apply products under your eyes. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I did apply that color corrector under my eye. And then I just take, put them together like this. And this one I usually just apply with my fingertips. Depending on how well it blends in, I may go in with just my sponge. This has really nice coverage. It's not one of those concealers that uh, does a lot of uh, like settling into my fine lines. Uh, this is also one of those concealers that you could use uh, just not under your eyes, but you can do like little spot uh, areas as well. And then I'll usually just take my sponge, the corner part, and make sure it just all gets blended in. And then I'm just gonna go in with my Marcel Lengthening and Curling Mascara. I am gonna have falsies on today, so I'm just gonna do a quick little swipe of mascara. This is one of those type of mascaras that has like two sides to the wand. So one is going to give you the lengthening and depositing the color. Really nice mascara. It does remove fairly easily with my eye makeup remover. So I'm going to quickly go off camera, apply my lashes, and I will be right back. And just like that, we're back. So we're going to go in with a uh, to warm up the complexion today. We're going to use the Buxom. This is the Staycation Vibes. I have the shade Rooftop Tan. First of all, the packaging is beautiful. Sorry, my my ring light's kind of reflecting off of there, but it's just such beautiful packaging. Look at the detail of that. It's so beautiful. The shade doesn't really show up on my, on my hand, so I'm not even going to bother swatching it. I'm just going to take my BK Beauty. This is the 103 brush and I just swirl everything together. Always make sure to tap it off. And I always start kind of on my cheek area and run it up along my hairline. This is such a gorgeous bronzer. I love this shade. It just deposits enough color, just gives it a little bit of warmth uh, to my complexion, but it's not too over the top. And the blush we're gonna use today is NYX Sweet Cheeks. This is that like tinted blush and it, I have it in the shade Coralicious, but this is one of those unique blushes. It actually comes in a stick, very pigmented. So you don't need a lot. So what I usually do is just, I start off very, very light. So I put just a couple of dots and I'm just going to take my BK Beauty. This is the 107 brush 
and I start stippling it in. See what I mean when it says <laughs> it's very pigmented. So you don't need a lot of this. So it lasts you a long time. But this is a, such a pretty shade. I think I have two other shades of this. But look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I love how it doesn't fade. Like this is going to stay true like this the whole day. So I take it a little bit again. And very lightly. Like you can see I'm barely putting any on. Right? <laughs> I'm barely putting any on. And then just stipple it on. And what I like about this is it doesn't pick up the product underneath. So you see how I did, I put powder on and now I'm putting like a liquidy type product on, but it doesn't pick it up, which is really nice. And then what I do, if I feel like I have put a little bit too much on, which I, I don't think I have it. I think it looks actually pretty nice right now, uh, but I will just take my sponge and just gently try and diffuse it, even it out a little bit better. For highlighter today, I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Glow Highlighter. I have this in the shade Pearl. Not sure if it'll let me swatch it. That's the shade right there. So it's really gorgeous. I'm just going to take my BK Beauty 108 brush. This is a very versatile brush. I like it for highlighters, but you can use it for all sorts of like powders. You can use it for creams, liquids, all that sort of stuff. So I just take a little bit on my brush. Make sure to kind of tap it off. And then very, very lightly I swipe. This one isn't one of those glowing kind of highlighters where you can really tell you're wearing highlighter. This one, it's nice and subtle. This particular shade anyhow, I haven't used any of the other shades. Always run it down my nose as well. And my Cupid's bow. All right, so now we're gonna get into the exciting part of doing all the lip swatching. So BK Beauty was generous enough to send me not only all of their new collection. So they have six new shades, but they also included in the package the five previous shades that they originally started off with. These ones, the original shades are more, I'm gonna say like more on the neutral, uh, like nudes kind of uh, spectrum. Whereas these new colors, uh, you, well, you can see, right? They have a lot more like color. Uh, these would be perfect for uh, summertime. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do sort of, because uh, after I watched uh, Lisa's, Lisa J's video, I'm going to do it similar to how she did it. And she did it in order of uh, like lightest to darkest, uh, because I'm going to be removing it each time. So it's always easier to start with the lighter shades. So what I'm going to do is I'll apply the lip. I will show you the shade. And then at the end of all of that, I will just do an arm swatch so you can see them on my arm a little bit better. So the first thing that you've, you'll notice about the lipstick is the packaging. So what I love that they do with the packaging is you know sometimes where you go to uh, take the cardboard off and it ends up breaking or splitting. What they do is on this end of the packaging, all you do is you simply lift it off. It has a little latch right here that you just lift it off. You don't wreck the packaging, which is just one of those genius kind of ideas that it's that little extra touch. One thing I do want to mention is that they, these do sell for $24. That's American dollars. And I will have all of that linked down below. I will have the colors and all that sort of stuff. Everything will be in my description box. So this is going to be the first shade of the lightest. So this is called Grace. The BK Beauty packaging, again, is just beautiful. It has like a little magnetic kind of closure. You can hear that. Little details like that again. So what this says, according to the color, is it's a pinky beige. That's just gorgeous. This is, this is kind of like right up my alley. Uh, I'm not going to use any sort of lip liner. Uh, lip liners can skew the color uh, that you're putting on your lip. So I don't want to use any of that. I'm just going to take a little bit of that lip oil off with just a wipe here. So everything is fresh. All right, let's go in with this. This would be a perfect shade for if you're wanting like a really a light lip, uh, like a no makeup makeup day just something a little bit of color on your lip. You could deepen it. I believe uh, Lisa mentioned this in her video is that you can deepen it with a lip liner, but that is really, really pretty. Very creamy. Uh, the one thing about uh, the BK Beauty lipsticks is they are very, they almost feel like butter on your lips. They're not matte, so they're not like a drying kind of lipstick. 
and they're not uh, like a really uh, glossy type of lipstick uh, that it like gives you a lot of shine. Uh, it's very it's so it's like a very satiny type of lipstick. So I actually really really like this one. This one would probably be one of my everyday type of lipsticks. The next shade is called Beauty. So this is described as more of a rosy type of pink, which I would agree with that. Oh, that's pretty. You'll have to excuse if my lines aren't perfect. It makes it hard sometimes when they're, when you're not using a lip liner. Oh, that is really pretty. This was, this is so nice for summertime. And this would even be like really nice for spring as well. Like it's a really nice rosy pink. Oh, very, very pretty. Uh, one thing again about the lipsticks is from using uh, previous ones are they're very pigmented. This will stay, even though for a, like a bullet lipstick, this will stay on my lips for quite a long time through the day. And that's quite remarkable for it like not being a liquid lipstick. Usually liquid lipsticks, you know, they, they stay on forever kind of thing. But for a bullet lipstick, these are great. So this is again the shade Beauty. The next shade is called Gratitude. And it is described as, oh, I can see that, yep. It's described more as a berry type of shade. This would be really pretty in the fall. And you can kind of build it up. It's, they're so creamy. Like I can't believe how creamy these feel. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, definitely this gives me like fall vibes. This is something that I would wear. A more of like a little bit of a darker shade. Really, really like that, that's nice. Now, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I don't wear like a lot of reds. I'm just kind of state of my neutrals, sometimes a little bit of a pop of color of like a pink, that sort of thing. So now we are getting into some shades that I'm like, Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how these are going to look, but they looked really beautiful when Lisa was uh, showing them on her video. So I, I couldn't wait to try them. But again, I'm not a big bold type of uh, lip product person. So this one is the fourth shade in the line, and this is called Empower. And it is more of a corally type of red oh wow wow this is really really nice for summer and if you wanted to like do a really neutral eye and have this this would be really beautiful this gives me vibes of i don't know why looking at it it just kind of gives me vibes of like if you have like a jean jacket on or something I think that's like a really fun type of uh, look. It's actually quite pretty. So now I, I'm, a, I'm not as concerned now, <laughs> but that's gorgeous. So again, that is the shade Empower. This shade is called Confidence, and this is what's described as a true red, which is, look at that, that is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I will say. The one thing about when you wear bold lips, uh, lipsticks is you see, like if you make any sort of mistakes, so that's why it's hard. It's hard when you're just free handing it. Definitely would have to wear a lip liner with the red uh, just so that you can clean up the outer rim part. But that is really, really pretty. That is, that really is a really beautiful red. Nice. That's gorgeous. And the last one in the new collection is called Faith. And it is more of a raspberry. So it is a, a bit on the darker side again. Oh, that one's actually really, really, uh, quite pretty. It's almost similar to, uh, what is it, Gratitude. Just a little bit darker. Again, that would be really pretty in the fall. It's not as, it looks darker in the bullet than it does on the lip. But very, very pretty. Really like that. So again, that's Faith. So I decided on the shade Grace. That's a, I know, shocking. I know, uh, but I just, I love it. It's so, so pretty. It is like a true, almost like a true pinky beige, no, like nude shade. It's gorgeous. So I just want to thank BK Beauty. Thank you so much for sending over the lipstick. I love them. They are beautiful. And if you enjoyed any of them from uh, the collection, I will have all everything is going to be down in the description box as well as everything that I applied today will be down in the description box as well. And I do have a code uh, that I will insert on the bottom as well that you can save a 10% off your order from BK Beauty. And let me know if you've tried any of the products that I uh, used today or if you used any of the lipsticks in the past. I will also insert the swatches so you guys can see a little bit better of uh, all the different shades and I will also include all the prior shades 
So you have 11 shades to choose from. And they are all beautiful and great quality. If you haven't already, I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell that's right beside the subscribe button and that way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.